guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot card. These are your Daily Tarot cards for Thursday, February 25th, 2021, Throne Thursday. Got to tell you, it's a time of reflection, guys. You know, we kind of heard this calling with Mercury Retrograde, time for a reflection, the Seven of Coins. Um, we sit there, we put all this hard work into a lot of, you know, some of us are sitting there and it's kind of quiet. And it's just like, you can't predict this time right now. Um you know, a lot for myself, you know, doing uh, predictions for the, for the upcoming months, years, you know, for the forecasts and projections, they said like, you know, things would be in a different space, you know, obviously with vaccines and Rona being, you know, where I thought it would be like what spirit had showed me is not the same where it is now. And it's just like, you know, spirit is saying, have patience, keep putting the dedication in, keep putting the, um, the effort in. This is something you love. This is something you're passionate about. It will come back around. Just keep putting that hard work and effort in. You know, the loyal people will still continue to come back because they trust and love you. They will sit there still doing word of mouth, keep being your genuine self, keep putting your love and your light back out into the world. Don't let this time dim your light. We have the Knight of Cups coming forward. This could be a kept promise from a loved one, or this could be love coming forward. He is a romantic type of person his cup runneth over with love for you but we have the eight of swords you're definitely in this emotional uh prison and um putting your boundaries up you know they are saying it is safe for you to you know acknowledge this person acknowledge their feelings for you if it, this is a romantic love but do not feed your ego do not sit there and be like you know what i'm kind of bored you know let the, the you know this will be kind of nice you know to, to to pass the time until you know something better comes don't do that you know your karma will come and bite you in the ass be nice you know if this is someone that you're not interested in or if you're just you know it's just a friend or maybe you are interested and you go on a couple dates and it's not what you thought it would be just say you know what i thought i was ready to date and maybe i'm not you know i'm not in the proper headspace you know be nice. Don't ghost them. You know, don't hate on them. Don't talk crap about them. Just be a good person. We have the Ace of Spears, this fiery energy, you know, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, you know, 74, it's saying yes. If you were asking the tarot question, I feel like it's also yes for to move forward with this uh, Nine of Cups to give him a chance. I feel like it, you know, they're talking about, you know, it's uh, a symbolism of male um, fertility. You know, it talks about fertility specifically. So this could be a rebirth of yourself if you're a fire sign, a rebirth of, um, of, of, of life, or it could be that you are starting a family in that sense. We set off with the seven of coins, very much reflective. He's taking a break. It looks like he's tired anyway. He needs this break. Potential effort expansion results. The seven shows potential success. If you're expecting better results by now, don't spend too much time at lo too long analyzing. If you are in the right business or have made the rightest choices, the seven shows you will succeed eventually. And I feel like a lot of people, they're like, eventually, like when's eventually? Because we're in the instant gratification. We want this to happen now. So they're saying eventually we will succeed. But they're saying keep putting that effort forward. Eventually could be tomorrow. The key is to keep going and putting in constant effort. What, even when the work is tedious, don't turn back. You don't want to give up everything you worked hard for. You do see your, you, you know, the, the seeds that you've sown are bearing fruit. So, like I said, the loyal people will come back. The, the, um, the, um, you know, word of mouth will still work. It's just you got to give it a little more time. Just a little bit more time. You know, and I take this as a rest, resting time. Is there a new skill you could take on in this time? Is, you know what I mean? If you're feeling, you know, antsy, you know, where can you put your, you know, take that built up energy and spend it, you know, somewhere else in your life? We have the Nine of Cups stepping forward. Again, this could be love or this could be someone in your life stepping forward and giving you that love and support you need right now. Promises, ideal, invitations. The romantic and idealistic, this night may en enchant you. So this card shows the possibility of new love. This night loves being the lover. Equally, you may project onto him or her the dreamy qualities you ideally want. Wait before you commit, and very much so. Take that time 
with the eight of swords especially i feel like you know you've got your walls up so it, you know maybe make that known or maybe just see how the first date goes like you don't have like it's the first date get to know each other what's your name maybe you know this person from before they keep talking about so sorry from the past coming forward and um you know pr professing their love for you so you know see where the first date goes and go from there you know t you know kind of sit there and take a you know couple days to reflect you know very much the seven of coins reflect you know is this something you want to keep going forward with you know and or is this something you're not you know you're not feeling it but be kind apply to a situation there's a pot there's potential potentially there's a proposal excuse me or an invitation for you but assess carefully what is what is an offer I feel like there's a double edge with that one. Be careful what's an offer because I feel like it's um, on conditions. I feel like there's some sort of condition. You only get paid for it until uh, when you X is completed or when Y is completed. So it feels like you're always working. You're always putting an effort into this thing. But only when you sit hit a certain target do you get paid. So it's just like, eh, you know, you, you do what you feel is best. Eight of Swords, overthinking, restriction, and capacity. So this is where it, I feel like with the Nine of Cups comes in here. You're overthinking. You say with the Seven of Coins. You know, they keep on telling you, keep moving forward. Especially with the eventually word sticks out for me. And I know when I read for some people, they're like, oh, I hate that word. Oh, I hate, you know, I hate it when the, they give me a date and it doesn't happen. It's like, well, there's a lot going on in the world that we cannot control and it's like some you know what we can only work with what we're, we're told and what we're seeing you know they can give us a date but it's like you know maybe you didn't you chose to go left instead of going right you know it is very much free will this is very much just guidance this is not saying if you follow to the letter exactly x y and z will happen no it's free will if you choose to stay in, in, in a a relationship when, the, you know, cards told you not to, well, you know, that's up to you. Like, you know, it's free will. The eight, the tarot's restriction card shows you hemmed in by your thoughts of very much a, 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 a self-imposed uh, emotional prison. You may feel forced or, fu or fulfilled an obligation or to conform to an ideal that isn't you. And I feel like that's what the, the Nine of Cups is. That they want you to act in a certain way. Or they want you to be a certain way. And it's like you feel like you have to do that. But I feel like it's like, you know, why lose yourself in something? Why dim your light to fit into someone's box? Why not wait and be patient and find that person that checks off all those boxes and is on the same page as you? See your situation from a different perspective, very much the hangman, and you will see the route out. An additional meaning is hitting a relationship roadblock. And with this, when I was reading for IG, it's like, I feel like because of where we are, you know, homeschooling is a, a lot for a lot of people to take on because in that time they're, they're cooking, they're cleaning, they're going shopping. And now they're restricted in some sort of way. I feel like the partner is working from home. I feel like either you are taking care of the household and the kids and everything else, or it's you work from home as well. And now it's an additional, you know, everybody is all stuffed into one area and it's just like, it's about to implode. So with March break coming up for a lot of us, it's like, you know, maybe me and the kids go take to my parents' house, you know, for a couple of days and you have your time to yourself and then we can come back together and finish you know, this break off together, or we can sit there and ask mom and dad to take the kids. We have our time together. And then the kids come back for the last couple of days and we do stuff together, you know, it's just to, to find that love again, to, to find that spark again. It doesn't necessarily, you know what I mean? Like don't sit there and say, you know, this is not what I thought our relationship would look like. This is a really different time, a very different time. So the ace of spears, beginnings, drive, desire, ideas, fertility. Fiery energy, inspiration, communication are the gifts of the ace. It is a great omen for success for new work, business, creative ventures, and travel. Clear purpose and drive. Achieve your desires. 
As the wand is a symbol of male fertility, the card can also show starting a family. Additional meaning is commitment from a male partner. So especially with the Knight of Cups coming forward, he is ready to make all your wildest dreams come true. Knowing that is fine, but still going slow. So you don't sit there and get in over your head and it's like, you know, conforming to what he wants and then losing yourself again. And then you're like, dang, I'm exactly where I didn't want to be. You know, I made a wrong choice here. So you lie to yourself, you lie to him, and then you both end up hurt in this situation. So it's, you know, taking your time with this. No rushing into anything. You know, it's nice to have someone by your side, but, you know, Robin Williams says it the best. There's nothing worse than being in a room full with people and you still feel alone. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Thursday, February 25th, 2021. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.